Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture 55. So, we have been trying to evaluate the language and bracket. So, in that context, we are working with certain mathematics. So, if you remember in the last class, we wrote this j equal to jx plus jy plus jz. Okay. And thereafter, uh, we expanded them like this. So, we need to evaluate each j x, j y and z z and add them. So, we need to expand them and add them. So, if we do it the exercise from the previous lecture. So, what we get here is p 1 s square dou xi by dou alpha r This you can check yourself. So, uh, only thing that you need to take paper and pen and uh, multiply them and write here. I am directly writing here in this place. this part first we are writing j x. This minus p 1 s square you can see immediately that how the pattern is changing. It is the same thing as we have written here in this place, only thing the dots are changing. So, this is your Jx this part is jx. Similarly, we need to write the other part which is jy. Okay. So, instead of here uh, this uh, p 1, we will have p 2 here in this place. So, p 2 dou xi by dou alpha r, rest other things we have to copy from above. You can check this yourself again by multiplying q 2 a square instead of p 1 q 1 here this becomes p 2 q 2 rest other things remain same. And this minus p 2 a square then we pick up this part here this part and replace p 1 by p 2 and q 1 by q 2. This is alpha s. So, 
Um, this part we are writing, so this dot will be here. Next, we have to just replace in this q1 by q2, and rest other things will appear as it is. P2 q2, do xi dot by do alpha r. Again, here in this place, we have uh, done the mistake. This part is dot is not there. So, this is your j y part and one more term we have to write which is the j z. The previous one only thing p 2 will be replaced by p 3. So, this becomes p 3 a square do xi by do alpha r do xi dot by do alpha s q 3 a square. P3 Q3 this minus P3 Q3, so we should follow the right trend. And then we do it dot dot. And this is okay, this part is okay. And P3 Q3. do eta by do alpha s and do xi by do alpha s. this is okay. So, here only xi xi is appearing, eta eta is appearing, we say eta and eta dot while here this is getting mixed up. Okay. So, these things we have to check that we are writing it properly. Then the same way the p 3 a square We follow the same pattern and only thing this time we have do xi dot by do alpha r as we have here in this place. Once we are subtracting it, so this is appearing with do xi dot by do alpha r. So, it will follow the same pattern. Q 3 a square do eta dot by do alpha r So, these are the 
3 terms the determinants which has been expanded. Now, we can combine the terms which are common uh, like uh, we can write here j equal to p 1 a square plus p 2 a square plus p 3 a square. So, already we have written this quantity here. So, this consists of this implies this is p 1 a square plus p 2 a square plus p 3 a square this equal to 1. Similarly, this implies q 1 a square plus q 2 a square plus q 3 a square equal to 1 and this implies p 1 q 1 plus p 2 q 2 plus p 3 q 3 this equal to 0. So, this information we are going to use. and thereby the equation will get simplified. So, we combine these terms and then it looks like this. So, other term will come with the whole thing in the bracket with minus sign p 1 a square, p 2 a square, p 3 a square. You can see that here this dot was not there. So, here dot is appearing, here dot was there. So, dot is getting over from that place. So, it is just a merely a re repetition with exchange of the dot. So, q 1 a square q 2 a square q 3 a square times dou eta dot by dou alpha r and then plus p 1 q 1 plus p 2 q 2 plus p 3 q 3 times dou xi by dou alpha r times dou eta by dou alpha s. Now, this term we take this particular one. So, dou xi by dou alpha r and dou eta by dou alpha s. Dou eta dot by do alpha r okay. p one q one So, uh, we can check this term whether this is correct or not directly from this place because we are writing the third term. So, accordingly we can correct if uh, there is any error. So, just let us look into this. Uh, we are writing p 1 q 1 uh, p 
q2 and p3 q3 so we have combined the term so p3 q3 we are using here in this place so p3 q3 um, okay We, we just need to check these terms. I'm just wondering some sign has been dropped or P1, Q1. So this part is okay. And then P1 square, P2 square. This is also okay. Okay, for this mathematics is little long, but it is nothing there is very great in this. We just have to combine the various terms. This is the whole thing, whole class uh, uh, what we have to work with. So, instead of uh, working at this level, uh, if we just verify the term that we have written correctly or not, so our job will be done. Okay. So P3 we will expand this particular term related to this place. So, from here we get P3 square times dou xi by dou alpha r dou xi dot by dou alpha s plus Q3 square times dou eta by do alpha r times do eta dot by do alpha s and then plus p3 q3 p3 q3 to uh, this particular part we are multiplying so do eta by do alpha r and do eta dot times do alpha s Similarly, we will have here Q3, P3 times Q3, dou xi dot by dou alpha s times dou eta by dou alpha r. Okay, so, there, there is exchange. So, uh, this term and then minus taking this one. So, minus P3 square dou xi by dou alpha s plus times dou xi dot by dou alpha r and s first we dot r and then dou alpha s. On paper pencil with patience it is ok, but uh, without uh, writing it sequentially it becomes little difficult to work with do alpha s so we'll write here uh, do alpha s times do eta times do eta dot by do alpha r P3 
थ्री स्क्वायर डोटा डॉट बाई टू दो अल्फा आर डोटा बाई प्लस पी थ्री क्यू थ्री दो अल्फा आर so this is the way it's written so now we can check from this the corresponding term whether we have written correctly or not it's a uh, writing working on a paper it's a very easy but writing here on the board where we do not get the equation in front of me it's a carrying from one page to another page it, it it's a quite tough so here we have uh, p3 square p3 Q3, okay. and here P3 and Q3 is also there. So we'll check for this whether this is correct or not. P3 is square, dou i by dou alpha, dou i dot by dou alpha is. So P3 is square. Dou i by dou alpha. जो जाई डॉट बाई डो अल्फाइज सो दिस इज अपियरिंग ओके पी थ्री ए स्क्वायर एंड देन क्यू थ्री ए स्क्वायर ओनली द प्लस साइन क्यू थ्री ए स्क्वायर डो एटा बाई डो अल्फा आर डो एटा डॉट बाई डो अल्फाइज सो क्यू थ्री ए स्क्वायर डो जाई डो एटा बाई डो अल्फा आर डो एटा डॉट बाई डो अल्फाइज सो दिस पार्ट इज ऑल्सो फाइन okay so this is done this part is done and then with minus sign the same thing is repeating only thing that uh, here p3 a square do by do eta by do alpha here let me check this part again p3 a square do xi by do alpha is this is alpha is and do xi dot by do alpha r okay so these are some of the mistakes we do while writing the subscript gets uh, misplaced and then uh, the other thing becomes q3 square times do eta by do alpha s and do eta dot by do alpha r so th this thing we have to take care of minus p3 do xi by do alpha s p3 square Minus p3 square. So in the minus sign we have p3 square, do xi by do alpha is do xi dot by do alpha r. This part. This is okay. okay. Do xi by do alpha is do xi dot by do alpha r. Okay. Similarly, q3 dot do. Uh, Eta dot by do alpha. This also we verify. Q3 square. We have already verified. Perhaps do eta dot by do alpha r and do eta by do alpha s. This is also okay. So Q3 square. Q3 square with minus sign here. Do eta dot by do alpha r. Do eta by do alpha s. this is also okay that part okay the rest we just need to verify this part this part this part and this part so p3 q3 p3 q3 it's a appearing as a uh, common term okay so do xi by do alpha r and do eta dot by do alpha s do xi by
e3 q3 it's appearing here p3 q3 do xi dot by do alpha r see this is the problem i cannot get back back and forth easily so uh, p3 q3 do xi by do alpha r and do eta by do alpha is okay so uh, uh, these things are okay uh, while we have expanded so after expanding we are combining the terms together so only thing that we need to put the corrections here uh, these are the corrections here you can note these are the subscript we have to put properly so this is jx jy and uh, zz so in the zz term the terms we have got exchange so i have done all these corrections here also this correction is applicable and in this place also the correction is applicable and we can verify from this particular one this two we can verify do xi by do alpha r so this is do xi dot by do alpha is do eta dot by do alpha is so this is do eta by do alpha r similarly here in this with while we take the minus sign with the minus sign so do eta dot by do alpha r here this was you see uh, in this place this is do eta by do alpha r here this is do eta dot by do alpha r and do eta by do alpha r so this is the change which has taken place in this place also you can notice that this is do eta dot by do alpha this so this becomes do eta by do alpha s okay and this is do eta by do alpha r so this has become do eta dot by do alpha r so this is the proper sequence okay it's a just a simple mathematics simple multiplication nothing else only thing that it's a little longer and we have to patiently uh, write the things in proper way so that the subscript um, subscripts different subscript do not get uh, Uh, mixed up okay with this uh, information now we are aware that this quantity this is equal to 1 so this is also equal to 1 this quantity equal to 0 this quantity equal to 0 this is 1 this is 1 this is 0 and this is also 0 so our equation then gets simplified a lot therefore the equation for the j this becomes do xi by we pick up from do xi by do alpha r do xi dot by do alpha is and then from this place do eta by do alpha r do eta dot by do alpha is this part is zero this part is zero so this gets eliminated and then we get from this only the minus part so this minus do xi dot by do alpha r do xi by do alpha is and then this part do eta dot by do alpha r and do eta by do alpha is rest of the terms are zero so we can see that a long mathematics it has got reduced to a very simple format now we combine the terms in this way from here then we bring the term
okay here uh, we again one this part eta dot times eta this is just eta here and in the determinant format immediately we can check that we can immediately check this is nothing but whatever is written here do xi do alpha r times do xi dot alpha s this is the first term and do xi dot divided by do alpha r and do xi by do alpha s which is the this cross term and the same way this can be written and in the shortcut notation we can then represent this as so the first term we can represent as do xi xi dot and because xi and xi dot these are involved and in the denominator we have alpha r alpha s so j gets reduced into this format and this is nothing but your lagrange bracket alpha r alpha s so th this is in the orbit plane so what we have been uh, discussing that uh, j equal to jx plus jy plus jz so this has got reduced to the format in terms of xi and eta our variables remain the same alpha r and alpha s alpha s they are the same but the coordinate system we are using that has changed so this is a big simplification from three determinant to only using two determinants here in this place so from the above derivation we can realize that xi eta can be used to address our problem and xi eta being coplanar we can uh address the corresponding parameter parameters e e and n t with minus sign m equal to n times t minus t or this also we have written as t theta so time of perigee passes so this can be addressed using 
xi and eta in the plane of the orbit and using the parameters alpha r alpha s, where alpha r alpha s what these are? These are referring to A e etcetera. So, we have just looked into the bracket alpha the Langrange bracket alpha r and alpha s. So, we can compose using this the terms. So, alpha r alpha s from to which part it is a belonging, it is a belonging to this part. In this part the diagonal term is 0 and we have the so total 9 terms are here present. So, out of this the diagonal 3 terms will be 0, rest other terms which are 6. So, 3 are on this side, 3 are on this side. So, we just need to evaluate those 3 and uh, automatically the uh, because it is a skew symmetric. So, therefore, this part will be immediately determined. Here we have to determine all the 9 okay. and thereafter this part minus uh, the other part 9 will be automatically determined because of the minus sign. So, 3 here, 9 here and uh, 3 here in this place. So, total 15 we have to evaluate. So, this part is referring to your alpha r alpha s and this part is referring as earlier I have told this is referring to alpha r and beta s, while this part is referring to beta r and beta s. So, this way we have to evaluate the Langrange bracket and once we do, but still we have not evaluated it, we have got it here in this simple format using this we can proceed. So, we will continue in the next lecture and try to work out at least one the next time. Thank you very much.